So just about to start the run now. Uh, we're walking down to the start line. Uh, should be interesting. Had a few conversations with some friends. Uh, good day for it. Probably going to get a little bit warm and yeah. Morning. How are we today? Hello. Good at the moment. Yeah. Ready for a run? Ready for a run. How long a run? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yep. So I'll be a good day, sense it. I'll aim to uh, do a video every 5Ks, if not a little bit soon or a little bit later. Just going to take it easy. Have fun, guys. Listen up! When you get over there, you have a pinky self ride, the arrows will be pink. So just follow pink arrows. Everybody. People doing a 30k, there'll be big spaces out there. If you're doing a three person relay, the changes will be the second drink station and the third drink station. Those people doing the um, five person relay, will change after the drink stations. There will be signs out to tell you where to change. But the route's the same. So if you just follow the pink arrows, you shouldn't have any troubles. And hopefully your, um, your cars will be able to pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got a long training run. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Get lined up and we'll get a photo. So put your smiley faces on. Come up, come up, come up, come up close, people. Won't you all in? Some of you are good looking, some of you are ugly, but we'll tell you you're all beautiful. <laughs> no, no Colin McRae driving on the dirt roads either. Take it easy. Yeah, the drivers. Yeah, the car is so easy. We know what happens. Yes, exactly. Whenever you're ready. Oh, no. Right on. Number one. Number one. Set. Go. <laughs> And everybody's gone. <laughs> See you at the finish. Five minute pace is a bit too fast. Let's go by heart rate. See you at the first drink station. It's sitting just over three k's in at the moment. Been doing between six minute, six minute thirty k's. Heart rate is sitting at 146 at the moment. Trying to keep it below 150. Thought I'd do just a little video. Plan to not go hard, just want to take it easy. There's a water station every 5Ks, which is good. I'll be doing another video once I get to the first one. Till then, take it easy guys.
Hey guys! Whoa, whoa, whoa. How's it going guys? Cheers. Getting up to the first station now. Hey guys, how are we going? <laughs> Thank you kindly for volunteering. Hmm. 25 to go. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> all good. You want some more? Ah, it's all good. I've got the right, pack right. and everything. Thanks for that. No Not sure how many people are behind me. First walk, not bad. Just want to get the heart rate back down. Not afraid to walk the hills. <sighs> Sweating a lot. It's quite warm in the sun. Be nice when I get to shaded parts. <laughs> Morning. Yeah. How are we today? Oh, beautiful. Eh? Good day for a walk. Yeah, Run. that's it. <laughs> a casual plod. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Oh, you got the camera out. Yeah. <laughs> Have to record some of it. Record some of it. Yeah. Going up to the top of Tassie? Yeah. Or? Oh, you guys are in. Yeah. That's alright. You'll get a lot of people wanting your bike for the downhills. So, so far I'm rather enjoying this vest. I think the downside for it is the current trekking poles I've got. They're just a bit too big and clunky. Hey Eddie. Howdy How are you going today? Yeah, good. So you can get in. <laughs> uh, they just, when you look at them, there's just too much to be putting on the pack. If I put them in, they're either up way too high, or if they're down low, they start jabbing me in the leg. <laughs> Neither of which are very appealing. Uh, yeah, Super comfortable though. You hardly notice it really. It uh, sits well on my body like I'm, you can see me. I'm not the smallest of blokes. Um, yeah, it just feels really comfortable on my back. The adjustments are quite good. Uh, I didn't put much in it. I've got my soft flask there, two litres of water in the bladder. 
GoPro, uh, phone, wallet, keys, trekking poles I'm carrying, and a couple of oranges, some gels, and compression bandage, just in case I'm the one that finds a snake today. views so far um, once I get to the top of this hill I might open it up a bit more I don't plan on killing myself today although it probably looks like it with all the sweat and everything uh, yeah see you at the next video hey guys uh, word of advice um, make sure you are uh, Keep looking around when you're on these long runs. I know it's easier to do that <laughs> trip. Uh, get caught up in exactly what's in front of you. I just happened to look to the left and there was like a really good uh, shot of the Loyang Tail Station. This is eight kilometers in. Uh, so yeah, just two more k's to the next water station. You can tell I'm sweating a lot. I'm just taking it easy, having plenty of water. I want to get into this kind of mindset so I can be thankful at the end of the run where I've got the big climbs. Uh, I did catch up to a couple of people, nearly. Uh, they just seem to be going really slow up so I think towards the end of the run is where I'm going to excel the most I really should be uh, jogging a bit here and yeah I can't wait for a decent up I've had a couple of small bits another view of the power station uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to my first serious climb on the run, whenever that happens. Uh, yeah, I haven't had anyone overtake me yet. I'm guessing they all did that at the start. I just picked my spot, everyone sped off and I'm like, no, nah, too soon to go fast. As you can tell, I uh, was doing five minute pace at the start and I'm like, no. Nah, let people go. They can get cooked. I'll probably get cooked anyway. Being out here longer than most. And yeah, see you soon. And time for some water.
I'm actually really glad there's no one at my pace. I can just do what I want. I'm sure sooner or later one of the members from the relay teams will have a faster runner, they'll overtake me. Possibly, who knows. I just want to enjoy it. <clears throat> See, the aid station. Yeah, she's not too far behind. Oh, awesome. Good day for it, isn't it? Oh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> I might just grab a. Grab another cup of them ones. Are you sure? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Thank you, Conley. All right, sir. Yeah, she shouldn't be. There she is. Enjoying it so far? Hey? Enjoying it so far? Hmm. Still this drink station, I'll go up to the 20k drink station now. Yep. Yeah. She's going to buy. Hmm? Black. That's a good colour to wear on a day like this. Yeah. I was thinking the same realize. thing. Yeah. She's only going to realise. Yeah. She'll chop swings over up here. Yeah. How far is the changeover? About 800 metres, Bruce said. Oh, that's not too bad. Well done, Lani. Water and jelly beans. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. It looks downhill, which is good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Lani's the first person I've met in the relays. Yeah, she's doing well. It's not a, I wouldn't say it's a hard section, but it's not an easy section. There was a bunch of soft sand and everything. So, 800 metres apparently for the next spot. I'll see you there. I found a gate on my run. I found a gate. It's not a run for me unless I find a gate on it. Yeah, Lani's not that far. Yeah, doing alright. Just taking it easy. Alright, see you guys soon. these in a long time a little buddy until you get across the road before no one steps on you before someone doesn't yeah I know what I mean hey guys uh, so as you can tell it's been a while since I've uh, recorded one of these videos um, for today's run anyway so what ended up happening was got to the so I just passed Lani. I believe that was the last one of the last updates I did. And uh sorry, I feel like the fan is going in the mic. And yeah, so I'm just trying to think. So yeah had that checkpoint and then one of the relay runners overtook me and I didn't see anyone for ages like I got to one of the uh, 
relay spots hadn't seen anyone in that time after I had been overtaken and then like the 17 or the 18k marker to like 24 I caught up to a lady named Kayla and I did think about recording a few times but I just thought out of respect because she was going through a really dark time on a run but she had never done a trail run before it wasn't a true trail run like it was just a dirt road with some hills um, I still ended up walking like the last 15 k's because uh, I didn't want to get my heart rate up and it was a hot day so I spent the last 15 Oh, maybe not the last 15 k's, but like the last 8 to 10 k's with her, and just uh, kept her company, I was talking to Bruce, like she just went past a water station and she was a little bit all over the place and we were worried a little bit, so I had my hydration vest, so I had plenty of water, I still got stuff at the aid stations though. And we just basically did what we did, kept the feet rolling. Now uh, when it came to a downhill, we'd do a casual trot down the hill. As soon as there was a resemblance of a hill, we started walking again. And yeah, it was nice of everyone to wait for us. There was a lot of people at the finish line still. Once we got to the top, we just had a, I had a couple of Lamingtons, uh, they offered me a ride back down to the car, which was awesome. I was trying to think of a good word for that then, and yeah, I just really appreciated that, I appreciated all the volunteers, uh, I know a lot of them, like they see me at these runs a lot of the time, and yeah, it was a... I would say if I hadn't have helped run, um, if I had of not not run, so in other words, if I had run and kept my training going, I could have finished much quicker. I basically used this run to give myself a kick up the ass to get shit done. If I'm looking at another ultra in December, that's not that far away. But uh, I'm also considering about just doing a 21k, maybe, at the unions for the end of the year and just really enjoy it. Or just really enjoy the 50. Either way, I want to enjoy it. Just take my time. I felt like everyone left me in the dust at the start of today and I'm like, you know, no way. I don't want to even try to keep this pace. As you've seen, I was doing five minute pace and people were leaving me and I'm like, nah, that's not for me. I just want to do what I do. I wasn't there to uh, finish in the top three. But in saying that, I've still finished in the top three of the open males because there was only three of us there. <laughs> so I didn't have to work hard for that. I still got a trophy for it though, so... It wouldn't have happened otherwise. I would have made all that money for the trophy and no one would have got it. So it's good that I went today. The efforts were not in vain. So I'm nearly home now. Shouldn't really be recording like this, but I've done it now anyway. Uh, really enjoyed the rain. It was way too hot for my comforts. I've got Salt, sweated salt all over my legs a little bit on my arms I did oh, I had a lot of water on the run it just I didn't have any food besides a couple of jelly beans I did have stuff in my uh, backpack if I wanted it didn't really feel like I needed it I just felt like I needed water it was just a hot day um having food or anything wouldn't have made me run any faster just purely and simply because it was hot but it's all done and I'm 
basically home, so I'm gonna shut this off. Might do a little bit of a video when I get inside. Other than that, have fun guys. Bye. Hey again guys. Uh, I'm not sure where I left off on my previous video. Don't mind the hairy chest and stuff. I'll try and keep my nipples out of it, boy. <laughs> um, so last I remember I was driving back home. Gave you a bit of an update. So overall, I didn't mind today's run. It was good to uh, really set in and not just get caught up in the event and want to go all guns blazing, which is, I was talking to Mark Vandermeulen about this, and I said, I really want to just do my own pace. I want to get more into the ultra running, and I'm not going to be able to do that if I keep going out way too hard, and I think today was really good in that aspect, like 30, I got 30 k's in, I felt like I could keep going, I did have a few hiccups, like as you can tell I got sunburnt even after putting sunscreen on, my face feels red, it's not the worst, I think chafing is the worst part from today, Vaseline is no substitute for body glide, uh, so I'll be ordering some more of that. Um, it was good to do the last 10 or so k's or the last third with Kayla. I don't like to see people pull out and I've had runs like Wonderland more recently where I've had a whole group of people that just pulled out and I just kept going and everyone kind of knows how bad I was that week I was sick for a long time leading up and after that it was horrible um, I think that's going to be one of the runs that I'd like to forget but I'm not going to so hydration pack was good probably a bit more on that I felt like I was carrying hardly anything and as you know I had the GoPro I had two liters of water in the bladder I had the soft flask which is about 500 mil and then I had oranges and I had I had a can of tuna and three beans and chili I love that stuff it's really good um, I just have that after my runs now it's just a great source of protein and calories and it's really good I feel like I recover quite well after having something like that. I have like two of those a day anyway. Um, yeah, really love that. Uh, back to the vest. It, my previous vests have left a lot of marks after long runs. Like I was out there for four hours 20. It's not my longest run, but normally I have like marks from the hydration vest on my back and uh, the only thing I can see is a possibility, like it didn't happen, but where the GoPro was sitting on my my left uh, shoulder, I did realise a couple of times that I could feel the cold bar rubbing up against a little bit of skin, but it didn't chafe or anything. Um, so that might be a possible area to body glide and stuff. Uh, my trekking poles that I currently have, they don't collapse enough to fit comfortably on this vest, so I'd like to uh, upgrade to the Black Diamond Distance FLZs. They're, they collapse into thirds, and it's like virtually the same size as this GoPro thing. Um, selfie stick. So that would be my next purchase, maybe, after Body Glide. Um, what else can I say about today or the vest? Yeah, it feels like it, like I wear the vest, whereas opposed to other vests, it feels like it wears you. So it doesn't just dig into you. Like I got the largest one, obviously. Um, and it just feels really comfortable. A lot of the time I wouldn't feel like it was on, like, 
felt like it was there. It was just something. It was like I had a hose, and it, that was linked to like an unlimited amount of water, which I went through a lot today. Like two liters in the four hours, plus I topped up the soft flask about three or four times, and. Apart from that, I didn't really eat anything on the run. I think I said that earlier. Didn't feel like I needed it. It wasn't going to make me run faster if I ate more. If anything, I went through a lot of salt, so I might have needed to have a bit more salt. I'll get those salt capsules again. Some electrolytes. But I wasn't going to run fast up the hills. I, it's just not what I wanted to do. And at the end of the day, I did what I wanted to do. And I'm happy with that, like, who cares if I came last or whatever, and I still, I had a goal for today, I had an intention for today, as uh, David Holmes would say, you have to make sure you stick with your intentions, uh, which is good, and that's the best I could do, I've had a bit of food, I went to KFC, I had these new things called Zinna Tacos. They were not hot enough, even though they said that they're going to be hotter than the hot sauce. It's I just need some real hot food someday. Might need to go to a Mexican restaurant or something. Um, what else can I say? I feel like this should be on Facebook Live, but I'm just going to chuck all these videos together and hopefully I haven't just had my nipples showing for everyone to see for the past seven minutes don't care if they're there anyway um my this is the problem with this cheap ass gopro it's like the budget of budget gopros um anyway shit happens i'm just enjoying a orange juice which is quite good I'm happy that I found one or two gates on my run today. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can think of for now. Um, I would like to do some more of these videos. I know this one's going to be long. <laughs> I've done a fair few five plus minute videos and I'm just going to merge them all together, upload whoever watches all of it. Kudos to you. Um, a few people cheered me on early on. They just see a photo of me on the Terrell and Harriers Athletics page. And they're like, oh, go Matthew, ultra marathoner Briggs. And I'm just like cruising along. And the starting video when they said they're off and I'm sitting there running along. I've got my GoPro. I'm like, yeah. Uh, good fun. Um, next run, I'll be up in the Yu Yangs again. New Year's Eve. Gotta watch the fireworks. I'm going to do a bit more training. Hello Kitty. Say hello to Cleo. Short for Cleopatra. Anyway, it's about time for me to have a nap. I'd like a nap. There's no shame in that. Recovery gets through the worst of the chafing part. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Thank you for watching, if you've watched all of this. If you have any questions of the vest, I feel like I haven't really covered that much of it. It feels good. The zippers work great. They are fantastic, actually. Like my previous vest, the zipper that just goes up and down here, it's like it was constantly seizing up. Like it was bad for the zippers, but this one, they feel so smooth. I don't know if it's just because it's a new vest or they're just really good quality I really like them and I think the two pockets up here are gonna do wonders for me I'm gonna pack them up with like salt tablets and uh, Endurolites from Hammer Nutrition yeah good things to come peace out enjoy have fun see you on the trails I hope to see people on the trails. It gets lonely when it's just me out there all the time. Bye.